like you to welcome uh, Max Rack, who's the General Secretary of the Fire Brigade Union. The Fire Brigade Union has given real support to organising the meeting. The Fire Brigade Union has a proud tradition of fighting racism and oppression. Matt, we welcome you. Comrades, uh, brothers and sisters, um, in fact, some of the comments have just been made just reminded me of an event I attended on uh, Friday. We, we had a memorial meeting for our uh, president, uh, former president, who died tragically at the age of 53. Mick Shaw, I know many of you in the room will remember Mick, but uh, Mick, in fact, uh, in, in his uh, tributes, we were reminded that one of the earliest things that Mick had got involved in was as a firefighter, uh, firefighters against the Nazis uh, campaigning in the 1970s. Comrades, what uh, actually what a, a humble, humbling experience and a great honour it is to speak on such an amazing platform as this. Uh, and I want to pay tribute to those activists in the RMT who initiated this meeting. What is the best political meeting in London for a long, long time? I've got uh, an email off uh, Comrade Ungrim at the back there. Uh, we were very pleased to immediately join in and to give our full support to this uh, initiative. And uh, we've got the Olympics coming up uh, this summer. Sports, a great sporting event, and uh, you often hear, I remember growing up, they said you need to keep politics out of sport. Um, they seem to forget that actually it was the apartheid regime that pushed uh, politics very firmly into the issue of sport. You cannot separate politics from sport, because if you have injustice in society, if you have inequality, uh, you have racism, then that will be reflected in all aspects of society, including in our sport. And that's why, in all aspects of our lives, we have to challenge it. Muhammad Ali was not respected as a hero simply for his prowess in the boxing ring, but because he stood up to the establishment and challenged racism. And challenged the Vietnam War launched by the American state. Today, in Britain, we have the, the people's game of football, now becoming increasingly the billionaire's game. We have the Olympics coming. Uh, coming to East, I live in East London, coming to East London, the Olympics unfortunately this time are going to be the most commercially taken over Olympics we've ever seen. Yeah. We're going to see, if you live in East London, you're not going to be allowed to drive on your own streets, you're not going to be allowed to park in your own streets, and very few of us will have tickets to actually get to any events in the Olympics. But uh, we also have militarisation, as been mentioned earlier. We have surface-to-air missiles being placed on the roof of tower blocks in East London. Well, what they forgot is that the, one of the tower blocks where they're stationing these missiles is now called the Bow Quarter. But the Bow Quarter, for those who live in East London, uh, we will remember, is actually the Brighton May factory. And it's the birth, one of the birthplaces of modern trade unionism. Because in East London, as well as all the problems, for the poorest boroughs in London, where the Olympics are taking place. And as well as those problems, we've also got a huge history of struggle. It was in 1936 that tens of thousands of people turned out in East London to batter the fascists off the streets of Cable Street. And in the 1970s and the 1980s, young people got organised to defeat the National Front and the BNP and drive them off Brick Lane uh, and elsewhere in East London. And you know, the most inspiring thing when you look at that image, it's about one thing, it's about resistance. And that's what we need today. It's about saying that yes, they will come and they will do things to us and attack us and imprison us. And all the things that we've heard about that bring a tear to your eye and a rage to your heart, but what that message up there says is that we will never sit back and take it. We will organise and fight back. And that clinch this salute brings a message of struggle, of unity and of solidarity. And that's what we need now more than ever. It's been a great honour to speak tonight. Thank you very much.